Hi, Kim Hester here. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss how to stop procrastinating in three basic steps. Face it, procrastination really doesn't serve us, it hinders us. It might be a temporary solution to, you know, not wanting to accomplish a task. You may just need a mental health day, you just uh, need a break, you may be tired or overwhelmed. But procrastinating doesn't serve us at all. And you know, in this video, I'm gonna give three basic steps that has helped me to, uh, you know, tackle that procrastination bug when it kind of shows up in my life. The first step to uh, how to stop procrastinating is to make a realistic to-do list. You know, what really helps me to just dump everything out of my head of what I need to accomplish is a to-do list, um, but you need to be realistic about it. You know, if you have a priority, if your energy and your mental capacity, if it's taken up for a large part of the day, um, or you have one major pro project that you need to accomplish, just be realistic and know that most of your time and energy and commitment is going to be towards that one goal. And maybe the other things have to be uh, pushed back and, and uh, you know, completed another day. So having a realistic to-do list, it makes you feel good about yourself when you're checking off certain things that you're completing, whether it's errands you have to run for your home or something for your business or something for work. When you start checking off those little small victories, it just keeps you motivated and it shows that you're being productive. But when you create a unrealistic to-do list of a hundred things and you only get to five that were really important and really special, you know, it really kind of knocks your, um, it just knocks you down and it knocks, uh, you know, it doesn't really show that you were productive if you have a long list of things that, you know, so just keep the list realistic, okay? <laughs> the second step to how to stop uh, procrastination is avoid multitasking. You know, multitasking is not a productive activity. Multitasking sometimes is necessary out of necessity. You know, as a mother, especially when my daughter was young, you had to multitask or you wasn't going to get anything done. But I feel so much better when I can just have laser beam focus and I can devote a short period of time to completing a specific task as opposed to trying to do five things at once. Because they, they always say, you, you don't want to be a, a master of all trades, um, a, ja a jack of all trades and a master of none. You want to, with your time and focus, hone in on one thing, even if it's just for short periods of time. And I guarantee you, you'll get more accomplished by focusing on one thing than trying to do five things at once. Okay. And the last uh, tip that I want to give on how to stop procrastination is to take action. You know, um, Jamal and I went to a business seminar this past weekend. It was three days up in northern New Jersey. And one of the uh, uh, the trainers made a great analogy because we were learning um, some things that were just outside of our comfort zone in terms of business. Um, and some people in the, the, the class had all these like detailed questions about little things that you really didn't have to be so concerned about at that point with this level of training. And the trainer had a great analogy. He said, you know, how many people drove here this morning? You know, a bunch of people rolled their hand and he's like, you rode in the car. Now, did any of you ask how do, when you turn the ignition, how does that work? How does the wheels turn? How does the car, you know, stay together? You just got in and you drove. And I think that's the same thing with life that you can use in anything, especially in business or something that you may be uncomfortable with. Sometimes you don't need to know all the answers to take a first step. And a lot of times people procrastinate with big decisions because they feel like they have to know all the nuts and bolts before they take action. But the only thing that leads to is inaction. So take action on your to-do list, take action on having laser beam focus, and take action on certain things that you just are just waiting to the perfect moment. Just take action and you will break and beat that procrastination bug right out of your life. Okay, so I just wanted to leave you with those three tips on how to stop procrastination. And for more videos like this, just click that link below, join our email list, and now you will be notified when we send videos and other powerful content to help you live more consciously. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.